Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the RBTV77 app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an amazing app that you can use to watch live sports free of charge. And the whole setup is actually pretty easy too. So now, without any further ado, the first step will be is that you have to get the downloader app to your Fire Stick. You can get downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on the Fire Stick and start typing downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, downloader has popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it. And now that's the app that you gotta get to your far to stick. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up downloader, I will go to the settings by clicking this button with the gear icon then scroll down and head to my Fire TV. Open it. And now in here, what we need to do is turn on developer options on your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make one appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So go back a bit and you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. So now open developer options, go to install and on apps, and this time you just have to locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon app store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we go to the list of apps on your Fire TV stick. Here it is, we open it. And now there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they are super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, we cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Singapore, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use downloader safely. So we head straight back to downloader. Let's open it up and wait a bit until it loads for us. After that, on the left side menu, you have to click on Home, and then in the search bar, we'll be entering a code. So the code will be 856276. So once again, 856276, that's the code we'll have to enter. So make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And then the website of RBTV77 is going to open. 
I just zoomed in so it would be better visible. And here you have such a button which says TV with a green TV icon. So we have to click on it. Sometimes you might need to click a couple of times. And then the download of the app should start. Yep, there it is. So we had to click a couple of times and now the download of our BTV77 has finally started. So let's just wait a bit until the app downloads to your Fire Stick. Of course, the download speed depends on your internet connection speed. And there you go, the app was downloaded. So the next step is of course we have to install it to our Fire Stick. So let's install our BTV. Usually it doesn't take too long. And now after the app is installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, we need to press on done because this way we get an option to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on your Fire Stick device. So click on delete and then delete once again. And this way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now when you go to the list of apps near your device, you'll find the RB77 app right here. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That is the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your European connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.